Hey everyone, welcome to a full body dumbbell strength circuit workout today. As you can see, I have dumbbells with me and guess what? You can do them without dumbbells as well. So if you weren't planning on working out with equipment today, don't worry, you can also do all these moves with just using your body weight. But today I'm super, super excited to take you through this full body circuit. I personally love strength training. I think it is one of the best things we can do for our bodies. So I'm super excited to do this with you guys today. If you're coming in live, let me know. And here come those comments. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Erin. Very, very excited to see you. And yes, absolutely. You can use resistance bands as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. Make sure you have enough space around you. So clear some space. And we're going to start right at that 20 minute mark. This is going to be a 20 minute workout, start to finish, including your warm up and your cool down. Step touch with me. Good. So let's just heat the body. This is how I'm going to begin it by getting lower body and upper body moving at the same time because guess what? You're going to see that in today's workout. We're combining upper body and lower body movements and Aaron, you're going to use dumbbell, excuse me, you're going to use resistance bands. I'm going to use dumbbells. You might be using just body weight. Guess what? It's still going to be a workout head to toe and the weight selection, I want to be very individual. So I'm not going to necessarily give you how much weight to pull. I want you to just do what feels good to you. We're going to do every single exercise, 15 reps each. So that'll give you kind of a starting point. Eight months pregnant. Can I do this? So you always want to consult your doctor. Go ahead to squats here. You always want to consult your doctor first. So make sure you do that without knowing you. I can't really give you a diagnosis on that. So definitely check in with your doctor. Good. Sit down nice and low. Good. Make sure that you're sitting back. I want you to keep your feet flat on the ground. And we're creating just some range of motion in our lower body, which we're going to be using right off the bat. Good, and then try to take it a little bit deeper as we get into these last few seconds. Whew. Your breathing pattern, in through the nose, out through the mouth. What about your core? It stays tight the entire workout. Good, and start to think about tying that exhale to tightening up the abs even tighter. Last three, two, one, good, jumping jacks. You know I like to raise the heart rate. So there's not gonna be any dedicated cardio today, and here's your low impact, but your heart rate is still gonna get up because we're circuit training. So while you're finishing a last few seconds of your jacks, I'm gonna explain to you what circuit training means. We're gonna take three exercises, two different blocks today, and we're gonna circuit through them twice, meaning we're gonna go from one exercise to the next. It's a great way to keep the body moving. You're letting one muscle group rest while the other one works. Good, you got 15 more seconds here. And we're gonna get through a ton of different movements. Keep going in just 20 minutes. You guys know I love 20 minute Tuesdays. There we go. All right, go ahead and take a break. So I want you to also make sure you have water and a towel close. You're gonna to wanna to take sips of water in between sets. Towel, as you know, any workout with me is always gonna be a little sweaty. And we're gonna start in 30 seconds. Now, weight selection. Again, this is gonna be very, very individual. My recommendation, start light. You can always build up from there. So I'm gonna show you your first exercise. We're gonna go into a deadlift row. So what you're gonna do, and you don't have to start, you got 10 more seconds to watch. Deadlift, row, in, and then stand through. So we're combining, go ahead and grab your weight selection right now. We're combining lower body and upper body. Here we go, guys. We're going 15 reps and squeeze the glutes through. So we come down to that deadlift, row, in, and up. Remember, your deadlift, this is not a squat, but you do wanna keep your knees slightly bent, push the booty back, and then squeeze the glutes as you come through. You're welcome. Good, keep going. I want you to count your own reps. There's not a magic, 15 is not a magic number, I should say. 15 is our goal, and that's gonna give you a benchmark so that every time you do this workout, you can go a little bit more in weight. But if you start to feel at even 13, like you can't do anymore, that's your number. Good. A few more. You're counting your own reps, right? I got four. You can also follow me. Good. Are you breathing? That was a reminder. <laughs> Good job, you guys. Two more. Do you feel it? Oh, yes. 
Give me last one. Elbows to the ceiling, good. Squeeze through. Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple seconds. You can transition to a lighter weight if you'd like, which I'm gonna do because our next exercise is going to be a reverse lunge to a lateral raise. Now, generally, our shoulders are gonna be a little less strong than our back. Back is a bigger muscle group, so maybe you wanna drop that weight. It's gonna look like this. Reverse lunge, you come up, lateral raise. Reverse lunge, lateral raise, yes? All right, grab that weight. Here we go. Reverse lunge, lateral. Now, if you're already one step ahead and you're like, hey, wait a minute, 15 is an odd number. We'll do 16 so that our legs can be even. Good. <sighs> Dumbbell time. Hey, Sebastian, what's up? Good to see you. Yes, I've been super excited about this workout today. Good. You got 10 more. Nice low lunge. Core engaged. Perfect. <sighs> can you give me eight more? Of course you can. Down and up. Nice work. Now, circuit training allows us to go pretty quick. So the next exercise is we're going to start rolling through these a little bit faster. If it's your first time doing it, don't worry. You'll catch in. You'll catch up. You'll jump in right where you are, right where you can. There you go. Two more. And last one. Good. You're going to keep this weight. Take a quick peek. We're going to do a lateral, excuse me, we're going to do a wide squat to a bicep curl. Those laterals are coming next block. So take your legs wide. I'm going to keep the same weight. Generally, you can definitely curl. Same thing you can do a lateral raise with. Ready? 15. Here we go. Down and up. Thank you. Best channel, Bowflex. I love it. Down and up. We appreciate the comments. I should say, I definitely appreciate the comments. Guess what? I appreciate feedback. I think feedback is a gift. So don't ever feel shy. I will always reply back. I definitely want to know your thoughts. And I've said it week over week. I'm here to program exercises and workouts that you want to see. And now we got dumbbells in the mix, you guys. Good. Keep going. Down and up. Wide squat. Bicep curl. Do you feel it? I heard you. Everyone said, uh, absolutely. Keep going. Can you give me six more? Down and up. Good. Elbows in at the sides. Perfect. Heart rate's climbing. Now you know what I mean. You're probably thinking, she was not joking. Heart rate is going to be up. Nice job. Thank you. Is it Angelique? Amazing workout. Guess what? Amazing energy. Thank you for joining us. Last one. Good. Okay. That is the end of your circuit. But as you heard, we're going to do two sets. So I want you to take a little break. And I want you to, I'm just going up and wait for the next set. Remember, we started with the deadlift row. So my back, my hamstrings, probably yours as well, they can handle a little bit more resistance. So we're going to do another set. Oh, thank you. You're from Pakistan and you're a fan. I love it. Welcome. I love being able to connect with you guys. All right. Set number two. You ready? Grab your weight selection for our deadlift row. And we got 15 reps. Remember, you're going to keep your knees slightly bent. You're going to push your booty back. Let's go. Row. Squeeze through. 15. <sighs> Squeeze all the way through. Nice job, you guys. Now, listen. Definitely supporting the low back is our number one goal. So knees slightly bent. We also want to think about our spine. So keep your head and your spine nice and neutral. So listen to my cues and avoid looking up at the screen during this set. And this is why. If I'm coming down but I'm looking up, my neck's not in a neutral alignment. So you have to keep your neck really straight. Look down. And you can look about a foot in front of your foot and keep that spine nice and neutral. Good job. All right. I paused to talk. You got about four more. Good. Squeeze the glutes through. I always want to say I like it, but guess what? I don't like it. I love it. Keep going. Can you give me one more? 
Nice job. Okay, squeeze the glutes. You get a little break to switch out your weights. Let's go a little lighter. We got reverse lunge, lateral raise. You guys, keep your energy high. Keep grabbing sips of water, towel off as needed. Preview, reminder, reverse lunge, lateral raise. We're able to go from this move into the wide squat pretty seamlessly, so you're ready for two back-to-back -back sets, yes? Grab those dumbbells. Did you grab me feel like, all right, I got the power with me. Let's build, let's go. Reverse lunge, lateral raise. Perfect. Now, this is definitely a full body movement, like all of them, but I want you to think about lower body first, upper body second. There you go. Now your abs hold you, abs tight, raise it up. Good. Now when you're raising those weights out to the side, think about kind of reaching out with your pinkies. Now think about that. See if that makes any difference in your form. Keep your wrists straight and focus on the shoulders. So I don't want you to raise your arms necessarily higher than shoulder height. There you go. We're almost there. Keep going. All right, nice low lunge. Abs are engaged, yes. Nice and deep, squeeze it through. Give me three more. Good, breathing pattern should be what feels natural because there's so much going on. Last one. Do you remember what the last one of this circuit is? Wide squat curl. Give you a couple seconds to get set up. All right, are you ready? The weights come inside. I tend to hold them at a slight V, just like my feet, toes to the corners. Here we go, 15. Down, curl. Good. Now, weeks to come. We got a lot of protocols we can play with, with dumbbells. Isometrics is gonna be one of them, so look out for that. I'm also gonna continue to do body weight workouts as well, so don't worry. Down and up. But the addition of dumbbells, guess what? Our bodies are gonna start truly going to that next level. <sighs> Abs tight, sit low. Okay, I haven't said it yet, but you know what always, there's a mandatory piece that you need to show up to class with. Do you know what it is? It's that smile. And when it gets harder, you wanna pull it out even more. So right now, you got a few more left, down and up. Check in with your core. Make sure it's still leading the charge, not the back. Good. All right. Four more, please. Thank you, Christine. Guess what? It's over time. You can make a lot of impact down and up with consistency. So just start today. Last one. Good. Okay. Set these dumbbells back. You guys, we're done with circuit one. Circuit two, so just in between, don't sit, keep your body moving. I wanna keep it really fluid. We're gonna now move in to our second and last circuit. So we have three moves again. We're gonna go into rear delts. So you're just gonna go straight set here. Then we're gonna go into lateral lunge, upright rows. Then we're gonna finish with some V raises. So you're gonna come underneath, underhand, and bring them together in front. Little less lower body, we can move a little faster. You wanna take a little weight off. All right, you ready? Two sets back to back. It's gonna take us all the way to the end. Let's go team. I'm gonna take a little bit off. Rear delts tend to be a much more challenging muscle in the fact that it's not as strong, but this is gonna help our posture. Ready? Here we go, 15, out to the side. So again, just like that deadlift row, you wanna keep your head down, raise it out. Beautiful. Are you exhaling as you lift? Keep going. Core tight, glutes tight, raise it out. Really, just like those lateral raises, think about raising through the pinkies. Reach out. Good, last four, three, Two, good job. Last one. Okay, just take a quick peek. Lateral lunge, upright row. We're gonna go side to side. 
Ready? Hit it. Lateral lunge. Whew. Lateral lunge. If the lateral lunge is a limiting factor, skip it. I mostly want you to focus on the upper body here. Whew. Good. But as you can see, I turn the weights, get a little bit more room in the lower body, pull it up, turn them, pull it up. Yes. How you feeling out there, guys? You knew we were going to move fast. There is not one workout, unless we're doing a stretching-based routine, there's really not a workout that I'm not going to maximize every single minute and second I have with you. You know my motto, if we're going to do 20 minutes, we're going to make all 20 minutes count. Nice. Four more, please. Get ready. The transition is quick. Last two. Down and up. Last one, looking strong. Okay, take a peek, open up your hands. You're gonna raise it up in front and come back. Now when I come back, I don't swing it too far behind. No momentum, core tight, underhanded raises. It's like you're handing me the weights. Ready, here we go, 15. <sighs> Controlled, <sighs> nice work. <sighs> Check your grip, light on the grip. Raise it up. How's that heart rate now, team? Come on, you could do this. Exhale. Make sure your neck is super relaxed. If you need to find an option, alternating is your go-to. This lets one side break a little longer. Do that over stopping completely. Nice. All right, you're counting your reps. Let's go four more. Three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, if you want to just set these down, we're going to go ahead and do a final circuit like that. As you saw, that one rolled quick. We're going to go right from this circuit straight into the cool down. As you can see, not much time left. You got this. Yes? All right, shake it out. I'll give you another couple seconds. Maybe just two to be exact. Okay, here we go. Grab those dumbbells. Rear delts, lateral to upright row, underhanded V raises, done. Come on down, core tight. Here we go. Whew. Rear delts. Okay, you guys, on this set, whew, I want you to think, and I'm actually gonna come cue you. This is your workout, remember. I want you to think about keeping that head down. Tuck your chin under. Now, as you raise them, don't raise your shoulder blade. Think about raising out using the rear delt. You might feel tightness in your bicep, and that might be a limiting factor. We'll work on that flexibility. Reach out to the side and feel your, feel your rear delts control that movement. That's why you want to go lighter. If you go too heavy, your back's going to want to help. You're almost there. Give me a Two more. Ready? Come on up. Lateral to upright row right away. Lateral, upright row. Perfect. Lateral lunge, upright row. Breathe. Good. So this is actually hitting now our anterior delt. You know your shoulders have three different parts, right? We started with that posterior delt, which is the back of the shoulder. Now we're hitting anterior delt, front of the shoulder, allowing that back part of our shoulder to rest. Next, we're gonna go underhanded raise. We're gonna let our chest take a little bit of that work as well. Good. Today's full body. We'll be doing some targeted upper and lower body workouts in the weeks to come. What is your favorite muscle group to train? Drop that in the comments when we're done. Not now. Keep moving. Good. Oh, thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Thank you for the sweet comment. Good, can you give me six more? Of course you can. Whew. Nice. Whew. Four more, please. We're going right in those underhanded raises. It's a race against the clock, last two. Whew. Yes, last one. Okay, underhand, flip it. Brace with your core, 15. Whew. Come on. Yes. Abs are tight. Raise it up. 
Come on, you got this, guys. You remember your option, right? If you start to fatigue, don't stop. Try some alternating raises. If that is still challenging, boom, that's your number. It's good to know where that point is where you need to stop because then every time you do this workout, go a little further. One more rep. Good, last four. There's four, three, two, and one. Yes. Okay, gently set the weights in. Are you mindful of your low back even when you set your weights in? This is another opportunity to get a little bit of a deadlift in there. Do you feel that? Squeeze on up. Okay, shake it out with me. Guys, you made it. Nice work. When you clap, do you feel that? Now, today was our first full body weight, excuse me, first full dumbbell circuit strength workout. It's the baseline. It was very functional. Your heart rate's up. And we're going to be doing more specific types of strength training in the weeks to come. But congratulations on completing today's workout. Take your hands behind your back. Just a couple extra stretches. <sighs> Remember when I mentioned your biceps being tight? Check in with me here. You have your arms behind your back. Now try to twist and move your, see how my elbows, good, extend even more. What I'm doing is opening up through my biceps. Stretch. That's gonna be the key to building even better looking muscles, right? Because the more flexible you are, the better you can get into positions. So I'm telling you, I preach it, prioritize your flexibility training. Here's another way to stretch those biceps. Yes, good, Erin, I'm glad. It's good to switch stuff up. Other bicep, there you go. All right, grab one ankle, quick quad stretch, abs engaged, reach. I like it, switch, last one, abs tight. If you're doing this on replay or all my live crew, Drop in the comments what your favorite muscle group is to train as soon as we're done. And that way we can prioritize as many as possible in the weeks to come. All right, deep breath in through the nose. Exhale. Go make it a fantastic day, you guys. You started it the right way. I'm proud and happy that you showed up today. Congratulations. I will see you Thursday, same time, same place. Make it a good day.